Hey guys, this is Ashok Kumar from codefolder.com. So today let's see about a base64 or a content download. So the agenda is very simple. I'll start with the introduction. Uh, let's take a scenario where the user downloads a file or uploads a file using in the browser. So in the basic view, we are going to upload a file that's going to save in a server and uh, when we want the file, it uh, pushes from the server and we can download in the client side. This is what a basic architecture is all about. But uh, in a grow, in a fast developing web industry and with the introduction of HTML5, the things have got much more easier and most of the things we can handle using a client side itself. Uh, the simple sna uh, the s thing which we I want to exp uh, explain these things is the introduction of a download attribute in a anchor tag. So, so let's go to this function. So before this, uh, <laughs> there is a major uh, thing happened. Like uh, I have recorded nearly ten to twelve times, and sometimes it's got breaking. I don't know why. The thing is like when I get into a debug mode I press F10. The F10 is a shortcut key for a record cancel and most of the time it got cancelled. I was thinking whether it is a problem with the software or we are doing something else. But it's problem with that uh, I didn't read the manual well how to use those uh, recorders. Anyway let's go, go back to this thing. So this is a W3 recommendation introduced by uh, W3 standards. So here they clearly mentioned about the uh, download download attribute. Download attribute was introduced in HTML file. So using this download attribute, we can be able to uh, download that thing, the content deposition that is in a uh, href. It's going to do the do our part. So let's get into this basic thing, and we'll play around with it so that you can understand. So here they have mentioned the JPEG file. Uh, it is like uh, directly we are getting the uh, J JPEG image and we are making in a download attribute. So this is pretty simple, uh, and we can able to download it. And uh, instead of that, uh, if we want to do something like that, before what we do is like we'll display the image, right click and save the image. So now we can able to push it as a download option. So I have changed the file name, so you can download it as file. So without that, uh, the basic uh, uh, file structure can be downloaded. File name can be downloaded. So this is a pretty simple. So this is a tag which they introduced in HTML file, and it helps a lot. And uh, not only this, we are going to see advanced thing. Uh, so I'll get back to this scenario. When we when we upload a particular file or something, what happens is like. Uh, this file reader will uh, encode encode the file so uh, the raw file the basic file will get converted to raw file using a mind type and the strings uh, we'll go to a demo part here so you can well understand these things so this is a part so i put a breakpoint in multiple areas uh, so this is a file what's the file contains this file contains a hello world and uh, most of the people know this file is a plain text file so i have uploaded it it still didn't hit the breakpoint hard there's something wrong okay it should hit right okay that's fine we'll close this we'll run this and we'll open the inspect go for it and we are done sure it will hit that's great this struck me way i'm sorry guys oh god
as we got something about these things oh. I'm taking your time I'm sorry this happens can't able to view it got just hold on let's go for a private browser and I hope this works good here I don't have breakpoint let's insert a breakpoint uh, after the onload so okay fine sorry yeah so we are uploading a file same text file we didn't run that's what it didn't hit yeah at last we got the thing so while uploading a file using the file type we'll be able to get the whether it is a text file or PDF file or MS file, MS Word file or something, and in the reader, what it does is like uh, this is a simple. What it does, it converts the file, that means the hello world text file into the <coughs> into the base 64 format. This is the base 64 format, and next is a string that it was denoted. So if you want to test the things, we'll play around these things just we are, we are going to the demo part so instead of this href we are replacing this simple put a any name that node dot it's a text file right put txt run it so when you click you have got a node file and inside node file we got c so this this encoded string plays a wider role in many parts and this is the base64 format the base64 format encoded file using the base64 uh, algorithm the file get uh, encrypted and it is encoded and using a mind type we can uh, uh, what to say we can use this mind type to convert the file decode and encode all these things can be happen so this is a nice feature that's introduced in a HTML file so he here the same thing I, I have used so uh, I have created a object and uh, in that object I am storing a mind type encode and uh, as, as, as well as a file name so I have uploaded a word file so it probably stored and using the download event what I do is like uh, I am fetching the same mind type as well as a encode string making into a URL and putting it in an anchor tag in a uh, JavaScript code and I'm downloading so I got it downloaded mostly the file contain all the elements so don't worry uh, anyhow this is a simple structure uh, what I want to explain about the base64 format what's the sad part is like this works uh, good in Firefox Chrome it's not yet implemented with the uh, IE so I think this is the same thing so I'm putting some format so you can't get it downloaded so once the IE has provided a support this feature will be a great thing so using this one we don't want to depend on the server we can uh, maintain a client side object itself for download these things uh, create a JSON structure and it helps to play around here lightly in the browser itself and it's also improves the performance and uh, yes uh, and we have done with the demo part hope everyone understand what's the use of the download attribute in HTML5 and uh, let's get back to this thing so we have saw, seen the W3 standard and web as a future yeah surely this web, web, web thing is a future uh, because uh, many high-end projects everything is uh, now easily maintained in web uh, we don't rely on the server because of the cost as well as that architecture as well as a performance issue 
with the recent uh, development of HTML5 as well as uh, frameworks like Angular, Backbone, and uh, UI like uh, UI framework like React and Node.js. Web Web has been a very wonderful thing, and in future we can be able to handle many complex applications in web. And uh, thanks for seeing my video. This is my first official video. Uh, there are many lags and uh, not I am not an experienced uh, tech guy anyhow I want to learn I want to learn as well as I want to share my experience to you guys so that uh, you can get to know more things in the recent Java as well as uh, uh, tech industry so mostly Coda will likes this type of uh, new information so this is my Twitter handle CodeFaluda and the Facebook uh, link Facebook dot slash code followed on my website so uh, what are the videos I have uh, uploaded my in my website you can go to the my website just uh, you can see the videos which will be available in my website all times as well as I'll write a blog about the same thing uh, if you don't have uh, time to watch a video you can go for a blog and uh, watch a video so thanks uh, very much for watching the video if you like subscribe my channel so that you get updates on my future post uh, if you want to share any comments or feedback you can put it in the comments you are most welcome and thanks for seeing this bye I'll get back to you with most interesting tech video next time